were the first feelings when you were told? And how did you react to it? Good evening, everybody. And uh, it's such an honor to be here uh, today to share my experience. And uh, I just want to thank everybody sitting here and who's willing to help uh, people who are in need like me. I just want to say that I am a real life hero, but she is the real hero out here. You know? That's very kind. I mean, I do all the bashing and dancing on screen, but she does it in real life. And uh, as your question goes, Sivanti ji, is that, uh, you know, I, I was just talking to my sister and uh, Dr. Tarang and <coughs> everybody inside is that, how do I come to know that I have that I have cancer? I mean, I, I didn't know about it. I mean, I had some backache and stuff like that, and I was just being treated, you know, with a hot water bottle and some uh, painkillers. And uh, till I I just couldn't breathe, you know, one day. And uh, I was taken to the hospital, and they saw there was a lot of lung uh, water in my lungs. And they did some tapping stuff. And, uh, but the thing was that, that, that I had cancer was not broken to me in a proper way. You know, it was done in a different way where uh, my, my wife was not there, my family, sisters, nobody was there, I was alone. And this guy walks up and he says, okay, you got cancer. So it hit me. Uh, I just couldn't understand it and then uh, my wife was in Dubai, and uh, you know she didn't know about it. Then Priya was told. Priya came, and she said that you, you know, you, I think that you got cancer. So uh, my first reaction was that, uh, okay, I got cancer. What do you got to do about it? I mean, see, you know what happens? Your whole life reflects back on you. I mean, uh, you know, everything just came back, and my children and my. You know, and I have a history in my family. My mom died of pancreatic cancer. My wife died of uh, the brain cancer and everything. And it, it was like a shock. So I, the first thing I said was, I'd let it be. I don't want any treatment. So they said, you have to be treated. I said, I can't take chemotherapy and all that stuff. So let it be. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, and I'm going to go. So uh, Rakesh Kumar ji, Rakesh Roshan ji, he spoke to me and he says, Sanjay, there's this doctor, Sevanti. She's amazing and all that. And you go and be treated by her. I said, sir, I'm not interested. He said, I'll tell you something. She's really pretty also. I said, really? <laughs> I said, then I'm going. <laughs> anyway, but uh, I went and we met Sevanti ji. See, uh, I realized one thing is that uh, I had to fight this, and uh, I just didn't have cancer. That is it. I'm, I'm being treated for something else. And uh, I think initially you couldn't understand, I mean, how come I'm telling you all that, right? That's correct. That's very correct. He said, I'm going to just think I don't have cancer, and whatever it is, I'm going to beat it. That's how I'm going to take it. And I'm just uh, sitting there, staring at him, thinking, you know, how we define denial in our uh, books, I thought, oh, he's in denial. But actually, he wasn't in denial. He had just pledged to go through this, be brave about it, and face it head on. And that's what played out through the treatment. You know, I saw my family break down. I saw my wife breaking down. I saw my sisters broken. I saw everybody breaking around me. And I decided one night, uh, I sat down and I told myself, I said, if I break down, if I fall sick, they are going to fall sick. You know, so I mean, I got to not fall sick. And uh, I'm going to be so tough. I mean, what is cancer? I mean, I fought so many battles. I'll fight this thing, whatever it is. And we went for the treatment. And uh, there was a pipe put in my chest, I think, to drain the water out. And uh, I remember I told Sevanti ji, this is going to come out in two weeks. I told you this? Yes, correct. And what happened? 
It did. And when he came back for the two weekly follow up, uh, I told the surgeon who had put the tube in, we are in for a challenge because he's expecting that the tube will come out. And will it? Because it was all hemorrhagic. It was bloody pleural effusion. It was bloody fluid in the lung. But two weeks later, the fluid had already dried out. That's where I would like to mention the angle of precision. So uh, Sanjay, when we were testing you, before the treatment, we sent out some tests. We sent out blood tests, we sent out tissue-based tests, and now you are one of the biggest proponents of the testing. So we found a particular test that was positive. PDL one. PDL one test was positive, and you know we drew diagrams and we drew if the PDL one was this much, this is what the treatment will be. If the PDL one was this much, this is what the treatment will be. But even with the biomarkers, Sanjay, and that's a confession, was overtreated. Uh, his PDL one was very high, but still I didn't have the courage to give him only immunotherapy, which is the. Uh, which is the standard of care, and he was treated with combination chemotherapy and immunotherapy. And I would like to acknowledge that I did not cut any doses. He is a gentleman with a Caucasian build, and he was hammered with the right doses, 100% doses, as per his body surface area. No corners cut. And the day of the therapy, and the next day, and the following day, and the day after, and the day after, he would continue to exercise every day, every single day, two hours on the treadmill. And I would get the uh, WhatsApp of his exercises. And many of us who were involved in his care would, would get that. And you also went back to working almost right away. We want to hear from you how all that happened. You know, I uh, realized one thing is that, uh, uh, I mean, I didn't want to lie about the cancer, you know. Uh, you know, people kind of uh, don't want to make it public and they want to just not tell people and uh, because, you know, the work suffers and you know, there are a lot of factors which are involved in, uh, in this. But uh, I chose to speak about it, yeah, I mean, at the cost of my career or anything, so that I could help uh, people who are in need, you know. And uh, I told Sevanthi ji, is that, uh, Sevanthi ji, can I please uh, go for my shooting? So she said, no, 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 you can't go for your shooting now, it's just now started. Speak of COVID. <laughs> speak of COVID. Yeah, but it, chemo had just started. Oh. I said, you have to let me go. I said, it's for my, uh, my moral boost and uh, it's for the people of the industry who I'm working with that I got to go for that shoot. I convinced her and I went. And she said, what is the shoot? I said, I just have to stand there and that's it, you know. But uh, it wasn't like that. I was put on a harness and I was hanging upside down and... Six hours he was hanging upside down in a harness right after chemotherapy. I was told he was just going to do like a dubbing, a small shoot, something like that but he was doing that. So one thing that he touched upon very, very quickly was one of his strongest points, and I want to bring that up front as I see, uh, I have Priya, Ms. Priya, the Mrs. Priya Dutt in the crowd, and I see Mr. Paresh Gilani, Sanju's good friend here, and Mrs. Manita Dutt as well. One of the things that he touched upon was friends and family. And second thing he touched upon was being upfront. So when he came to treatment with me and uh, I was getting hounded by media and I wouldn't pick up my phone, I said, Sanju, how do you want me to present the story? And he said, as is. I don't want to hide anything. You can go ahead and tell what you want to as is, as I'm going through therapy, no changing of facts. That, I think, was, is very courageous. That and the fact that he never hid anything from friends and family. And you can see his family and his friend 
from long distance, his lifetime friend, Mr. Paresh Ghilani. Paresh, thank you so much for joining us. And Mana, thank you. A big thank you to you also for joining thank us. Thank you, Doc, for having me. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for having me. And uh, Paresh, do you want to say something? Uh, uh, you know, Dr. Samanthi, obviously you've been a champion leading this entire effort uh, and doing it. Obviously, and you know, when this whole thing happened, uh, it was came shock to everyone, obviously, uh, just as it is every patient actually does when they feel cold. Um, it's it's the it's the courage of the patient, which which happens to be you know Sanju we call him and then it's Sanju um, mm -hmm. and the family that comes around, and and then eventually leans into a caretaker who leads that, which is you, uh, navigating the entire thing. It was a complex role what we found out it was COVID, midst of the COVID, uh, don't know what to do, can't stay in the hospital, you may get infected if you stay there, if you get out. What do you do? It was, it was a chaos in a certain, in, in, in a many ways. And how it actually became together as, as, you know, Priya stepped in immediately. Mala, unfortunately, was in Dubai. I was in the U.S. How it had to be collaborated, but then it was anchored around you to actually lead us to, to what it is. Courage of Sanju, which he's always shown, you know, in, in many ways, to just just buckle up and say you know what let's face this you know and take the bull by the horn ride it you let us and we support it and and, and obviously the navigation part was extremely important and, and i believe how it all came together was, was obviously a miracle but it was also very deliberate you know and a part of exploring every options that we had uh, you actually led the way, and 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 obviously the the hospital at that point was full of Kokilaben and your support staffs and everybody. It was it was a definitely an effort, uh, which I believe that should be sp spread, and also be been been learned from. Um, giving all the tools and, and access we had, obviously it was limited because of COVID. But uh, I truly believe that what you have led, along with Sanjay's courage, we're just 